Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Having good command of English and the ability of English as second language learners, using the correct form of grammar in writing and speaking offers them wide advantages. As the title suggests, improving the use of three main prepositions of place and time among UPM and UPSI students by using triangle method. This method is used to improve the proficiency and competency of three main preposition of place and time among the Form 6 students in SMK Astana. We have come out with the idea of using the method as mean to improve students' proficiency and competency in writing and speaking. And we took a small section of the English grammar for our research. We selected preposition specifically the preposition of time and place. Students in Malaysia would have spent 11 years learning the language. According to a study by Hakuta in year 2000, any language learners would have taken as long as 10 years to become fully proficient in English. Despite they have learned for 11 years, their English language proficiency has not shown much improvement. And from our experience, as the language teachers, many students face confusion using these three prepositions either in writing or speaking. And glaring mistake in using the three common prepositions occurs on and on. For example, preposition of time. The meeting was held in Monday instead of they're supposed to say the preposition was held on Monday. In case of preposition of place, many students say, I live at Pahang instead of I live in Pahang. Therefore, using pyramid or the triangle method hopes to improve the ability of students in learning preposition of place and time. From many types of prepositions such as preposition of movement, manner, agent, instrument, preposition of place and time are the two commonly and frequently used preposition in our daily lesson. The example of preposition of time and place are at, on and in. The question is why using pyramid or the triangle method? Many past studies carried out have proven that using a method or strategy can enhance and improve students' language competency, such as study by Zarina in 2017 and by Yunus and friends in 2016, which confirmed the use of mind mapping strategy has improved student writing skills. The triangle method is a pyramid shape that is divided into three levels. The levels go from general to very specific. At the lowest level, in is used to show its general purpose. On is used for more specific purpose and located at the middle level. And at the highest level, at is used to describe a very specific preposition of time and place. To have better understanding from general to very specific, we can look at the example below. In the book, for example, is used to describe general. On page 10, is used to describe specific. And at the bottom of page 10, is used to describe a very specific preposition. Or we can see, for example, the action research presentation is held in Kuantan. The action preposition, the action research presentation is held in 2021. Moving on to the on part, the action research presentation is held on Tuesday and is held on the ground. And the very specific one, the action research presentation is held at 9 p.m. or at SSTP. Therefore, 
Using the triangle method in teaching preposition, students can understand the function of these three common prepositions, which is used to describe from general to very specific situation. So, they can use them correctly in their writing and speaking skills. For the ob objective of the research, the objective of this study is divided into two. The main objective is to improve as MK Astana students' competency and proficiency in using English language. For the specific objective, the first one is to improve students' ability in using preposition of place and time in writing and speaking. And the second specific objective is to ensure that students can master common preposition of place and time with the triangle method. The respondent for the study was 16 UPM semester 2 and 13 UPSI semester 1. The UPM students would sit for Malaysian University test in September 2020 and the UPSI semester 1 students who had registered in July 2020 will take the MUET examination in 2021. They will be taught how to use these prepositions correctly and they, after that, will take the pre- and the post-test. Thus, it will be a two-cycle implementation for this action research. This quantitative study has four implementation phases which begin with the data collection method. The only data collection method used in this research was questionnaire. There were two sets of questionnaires on the three main preposition used for the purpose to get the result and findings. The two sets of questionnaire were prepared main for the pre and post test session. The second research implementation phase is the pre-test procedures. 16 UPM semester 2 students set for the pre-test on preposition. It was the first cycle of the action research. The objective of the pre-test was to obtain respondents mark of the grammar section. They were given 30 minutes to answer the question. The full mark for the pre-test was 30 and each question carried one mark. The obtained mark for the pre-test of the UPM were recorded. The second cycle of the pre-test was carried out with 13 UPSI semester 1 students with the similar objective. The obtained marks for the UPSI pre-test were also recorded. The third phase of the research implementation was the intervention session. This was where the researchers explain and clarify the triangle method in detail. The researchers gave each of the students a triangle shape that contained the three prepositions. Each preposition was located in different sequence with clues and explanation on the correct use of the preposition. The researcher explained and tried to clarify each of the preposition highlighted in the triangle. The intervention session took about a week before the students were given the post-test. However, the intervention session was able to be carried out within two days class instruction. It was due to the simplicity of the subject content and the ability of the students to catch up and understand the method easily that the intervention session were managed to be completed early. The last phase of the research implementation was the post-test procedures. The post-test session was meant to obtain students' mark in the preposition after the intervention sessions were conducted. The second set of questions consisted of 30 questions of the three preposition at, on and in were formulated for the post-test. After the two days intervention, the student had shown improvement and competency 
in using the preposition correctly. Then the responder were given the post test and answered the question within 30 minutes. The post test papers were marked by the examiners. The final result of the post test for both respondents group were analyzed and recorded. Research finding. The finding of the action research were recorded in percentage form. Result of UPM semester two student showed the highest increment was 20%. It means 75% or 12 out of 16 students recorded improvement in the post-test mark. Result for UPSI semester one student. The highest increment was recorded at 30%. It means 69% or 9 out of 13 students recorded improvement in the post-test marks. Here we can say and we can conclude that using triangle method as strategy in teaching three main prepositions of place and time can improve students' understanding in learning prepositions. For suggestion and recommendation, this action research focus on prepositions. For further action research, researchers are encouraged to choose other prepositions or grammar sections such as sentence structure and came out with self-formulated method in helping the ESL learners to learn the language. Second suggestion, as this action research, research only use quantitative method to set to get result hand, it is also suggested that the qualitative method is used together with the quantitative method. It is to ensure reliability, validity, and more accurate findings of the action research. More importantly, any studies carried out in future will help to improve students' development in English language. Thank you for lending your ears.